Hello. Welcome to mini story A for intimacy. In mini story A, I will ask questions about the article, about the letter. I will only ask questions you know. So in mini story A, you will know the answers. In mini story B, you will need to guess. But this mini story, no guessing. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? The woman has a husband. Who was her husband? What was his name? Who was her husband? <gasps> Well, look at the text. His name was James. All right, James. What was his name? His name was James. Was James her husband? Yes, James was her husband. Was she, the woman, was she in her 30s? Was she in her 30s? No, no. She wasn't in her 30s. She was in her 20s. Was James in his 20s? Yes, yes, James was in his 20s. The woman was in her 20s. Were they both in their 20s? Yes, they were both in their 20s. How old were they? Well, they were in their 20s, right? How old were they? They were in their 20s. Did the woman have a problem? Yes, yes, she had a problem. Did she have a problem with money? No. She didn't have a problem with money. Did she have a problem with James? Yeah, she had a problem with James. What kind of problem did she have with James? Well, she had a sex problem, right? She had a problem with their sex life. A sex problem. Did she have a sex problem with Bill? No, no, not Bill. Did she have a sex problem with Fred? No. No, she didn't have a sex problem with Fred. Who did she have a sex problem with? No, with James. She had a sex problem with James. Did James think they had a problem? No, no, he didn't. James thought everything was fine, right? As far as he was concerned, there was no problem. Did she think everything was fine? No, no. The woman thought there was a problem. Did James think there was a problem? No, 
James didn't think there was a problem. What did James think? Well, James thought everything was fine. Was James satisfied? Was he happy? Yeah, James was satisfied. James was happy. Was the woman satisfied? No, the woman was not satisfied. Did she think this problem was strange? Yes, yes, she thought the problem was strange. She thought the problem was odd. Why did she think the problem was odd? Hmm. Well, because she wanted more sex than him. The woman wanted more sex than the man. I don't know. Maybe this is not normal. She thinks she thought it was not normal. She thought this was an odd problem. Was James healthy? Yes, James was healthy. He was a healthy man. He was a healthy male. Did the woman work in an office? No, she didn't. She didn't work in an office. Did she work with the public? Yes, yes, she worked with the public. Did she work with the public or did she work in an office? No, she worked with the public. Good. Was the woman beautiful? Yes. The woman was beautiful. How do we know the woman was beautiful? Hmm, difficult question. How do we know the woman was beautiful? Ah, we know because many people told her. Many people said she was beautiful. Many people told her she was beautiful. Right? She got many remarks saying she was beautiful. Did she get remarks many times? Yes, yes. She got remarks many times about being beautiful. Did she get only one remark? No, no, no. She got many remarks. She got frequent remarks. Were these remarks bad or good? Well, the remarks were very good. Right? They said she was beautiful. The remarks were very good. Did she want James to be more intimate? Yes, that is right. She wanted James to be more intimate. Did she want him to be more distant. No, no, not more far away, more close. She wanted him to be closer. Right? His emotions, his feelings, closer. Did she want to have sex more 
with James. Yes, yes, she wanted to have sex more with James. Did she tell him she wanted to have sex more with him? Yes, she did. She told him she wanted to have sex more. How did she tell him? Ah, how did she tell him? She wrote a letter. She wrote a letter telling him she wanted more sex with him. Did she write only one letter? No, no. She wrote more than one letter. She wrote more than one letter trying to communicate with him. Was the woman frustrated? Frustrated. Frustrated means uh, upset. Yes, she was frustrated. She said, I am at a total loss. Right? I don't know what to do. I'm at a total loss. I am frustrated. Why was the woman frustrated? Well, she was frustrated because James was not intimate with her. Did she want advice from Abby? Yes, she wanted advice from Abby. What did she want from James? No, she wanted to be more close to James. She wanted to be more intimate with James. She wanted to have more sex with James. Did she want help or was she satisfied? Well, she wanted help, right? She was not satisfied. She wanted help. Did she have enough intimacy from James? No, she did not have enough intimacy. She was short on intimacy. Was she short on money? No, she was not short on money. What was she short on? She was short on intimacy. She was short on closeness. Maybe short on touching or short on sex. But she was short on intimacy. Was James short on intimacy? No, no. James was okay. James was fine. Did James have a problem? Or did the woman have a problem? Well, the woman had a problem. James didn't have a problem. Was the woman at a total loss? Or was James at a total loss? The woman was at a total loss. She didn't know what to do. Who was at a total loss? The woman. The woman was at a total loss. Why was she at a total loss? Ah, because she wanted more intimacy, but she didn't know how to get more intimacy from James. Okay, that is all of mini story A. Please listen to this mini story many times. Answer every question every time. You can use your pause button 
If necessary, use your pause button. But answer every question. And listen to this many times. Okay. See you next time. Hello. Welcome to mini story B for intimacy. In this mini story, I will ask questions. Some questions you will know the answer. Just answer correctly. One word is okay, usually. Some questions you won't know the answer. If you don't know the answer, guess. You can guess anything. Okay, let's get started. Remember, answer every question. Okay, in the letter, the woman says, My husband James and I have been married only three years. What was the woman's name? Hmm. Was it Anna? Was it Alice? Was it Frederica? Hmm. Her name was Alice. Or Anna. Or Frederica. Well, her name was Anna. Anna was her name. Or in America, we say Anna. Anna. A little bit different pronunciation. So, Anna was the woman's name. Who was Anna married to? Anna was married to James. Was Anna happy with James? No, she was not happy with James. Why was she not happy with James? Ah, oh, because not enough sex from James, right? They did not have enough sex for her. She was not happy. Why did they not have enough sex for Anna? Oh, because Anna had a disease. She was sick. She had a special disease. Why did Anna need to have a lot of sex for her disease? God. Well, Anna's special disease could only be cured by having sex every day. Could her disease be cured by medicine? No. Anna's disease could not be cured by medicine. Could her disease be cured by food? No. Her disease could not be cured by food. How could her disease be cured? Ah, her disease could only be cured by having sex every day. Was Anna young? Yes, Anna was young. She was in her 20s. Was James old? No, James was not old. He was also in his 20s. Why did James not want to have sex with Anna? Oh, James also had a medical problem. He was also sick. What was James' medical problem? Oh, poor James was 
impotent. Impotent means cannot have sex. No power. It means no sexual power. James had no sexual power. Ah, oh, poor James. When did James have no sexual power? Ah, James had no sexual power at night. He had no sexual power only at night. When did Anna want to have sex with James? Well, of course, she wanted to have sex with James at night. Who did she want to have sex with at night? She wanted to have sex with James at night. Did she want to have sex with James during the day? During the day. No, she didn't want to have sex with James during the day. She wanted to have sex with James every night. Why didn't Anna want to have sex during the day? Well, because she was working during the day, right? She worked with the public every day. Did she work on Saturdays? Yes, yeah, she worked on Saturdays. Did she work on Sundays? Yes, she worked on Sundays. Did she work every day? Yes, she worked every day. Did she want to have sex during the day? No, she did not want to have sex during the day. When did Anna want to have sex? She wanted to have sex during the day the night or at night. Could James have sex at night? No, poor James. He couldn't have sex at night. Why couldn't James have sex at night? Well, he couldn't have sex at night because he had a disease. He had no sexual power at night. Was this a problem? Yes, it was a problem. Why was it a problem? Ah, because Anna wanted sex only at night. Why did Anna want sex every night? Because she had a disease. Would sex help the disease? Yes, sex would help the disease. Was Anna frustrated by this situation? Was she frustrated by this situation? Yes, Anna was very frustrated by this situation. Was she at a total loss? Yes, she was at a total loss. Why was she at a total loss? Because she needed to have sex every night, but James couldn't have sex at night. He had no power at night. 
Did Anna turn to her sister for advice? No, no. She didn't turn to her sister for advice. She didn't ask her sister for advice. Did she turn to her mother for advice? No, she didn't turn to her mother for advice. Who did she turn to for advice? Actually, she turned to George Bush for advice. What did she ask George Bush? She asked George Bush, How can I solve my sexual problem with my husband? Did she ask George Bush, how to solve her problem with James? Yes, she asked George Bush how to solve her problem with James. Could George Bush help her? No, George Bush couldn't help her. Why couldn't George Bush help her? Well, because George Bush also has no sexual power. Does George Bush have sexual power? No, George Bush has no sexual power. Could George Bush help Anna? No, he couldn't help Anna. Could George Bush help James? No, he couldn't help James. Why couldn't George Bush help James? Ah, because George Bush also had no sexual power. Did Anna solve her problem? No, she didn't. How can Anna solve her problem? Can she take medicine to solve her problem? No, she can't. She can't. Can she have sex with James at night? to solve her problem and be cured. No, she can't. James has no power at night. So, what must Anna do? Well, obviously, Anna needs to get a night job. Anna needs to change her job. If Anna changes her job, will she solve the problem? Yes, yes, of course. If Anna changes her job, she will solve the problem. If Anna gets a night job, she will solve the problem. Who will solve the problem if she gets a night job? Well, Anna. Anna will solve the problem if she gets a night job. If she gets a night job, can she have sex with James during the day? Yes, yes. If she gets a night job, she can have sex with James during the day. Does James have sexual power during the day? 
Yes, he has sexual power during the day. But he doesn't have sexual power at night. So, what must Anna do? She must get a night job. Okay, that is all of mini story B. Please listen to this mini story many, many times. Every time, try to answer the questions. Use your pause button to answer the questions. Listen to this story every day. One time, two times, five times, every day for two weeks or more. Answer, answer, answer all the questions. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.